Our next award is for achievement in life sciences. To announce the prize, it is my pleasure to welcome Professor Inder Verma, Jury Chair for Life Sciences. Professor Verma is the Irwin and Joan Jacobs Chair in Exemplary Life Sciences and the American Cancer Society Professor in the Laboratory of Genetics at the Salk Institute of Biological Studies in the USA. He's one of the world's leading authorities on the development of viruses in gene therapy vectors. He's a member of the National Academy of Sciences in the USA. And in 2008, the Vilcek Foundation named Dr. Verma as the recipient of its prize in biomedical science. Ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished Professor Inder Verma. About 10% of the world, nearly 600 million people, will have a bout of malaria in their lifetime. And this is carried out by two small pathogens, and one of them, referred to as, as Plasmodium vivax, affects almost 100 million people, and large number of those people reside in this continent. When the mosquito, which carries these small organisms, bites its unsuspected person, it injects into it the small pathogens. And the pathogens then go into the blood vessel. The binding of the pathogen to the blood before it carries the disease is a very important phenomena. If one could block that phenomena, then there will be hopefully no disease. Dr. Chetan Chitnas, the winner of the Life Sciences Prizes, discovered that protein that sits on this plasmodium vivax that binds to this red blood cell and he has been able to find the small molecules that interact with it and he's now in the process of making a vaccine that would prevent these two proteins to come together and therefore he hopefully will prevent the malaria. So this really is actually a unique achievement from a basic scientist who actually in this case was a physicist who then saw the light and became a biologist and then began to first do some basic research and then eventually carried out work into translational research, which is really a very important way one progresses in science. Because biology is a very broad subject, we had a, a jury panel which had members on it which represented large disciplines, which included Professor Didier Tronel from Lausanne, who is an infectious disease person, Dr. Carol Privace from Columbia University, who is a biologist, cancer biologist, Dr. Mriganka who actually is in the audience today, is a neuroscientist from um, MIT. Professor Rudolf Yenish, who is a mouse geneticist from MIT also. And Dr. Gurdev Kush, who is a very eminent and well-known agriculture biologist from India. We had a number of very, very good candidates, and it was a unanimous choice that we, we thought that Dr. Chitnis's discoveries have an enormous impact that will have on, on the mankind. Now, it is actually very appropriate that if we do find one of the suitable vaccines for malaria, that it should come from India. After all, 1897 was when Roland Russell, Russ working in Secunderabad, for the first time showed that the mosquito was the carrier of malaria. He went on to win the second Nobel Prize in, in medicine in 1902, and it's now over 100 and some years and then there's a possibility of vaccine now emerging. So I'm delighted that we have the opportunity of that coming from India. I'm delighted that Dr. Chetan Chisnes is the person who has been largely involved in it, so I congratulate him, his colleagues. And finally, I'd like to read the formal citation, which is to present him the Life Sciences Prizes for his pioneering work in understanding the interactions of malaria parasite and its host, leading to the development of viable vaccine for malaria. Congratulations, Jason. Good evening, everyone. I would like to thank the distinguished Life Sciences Jury and the Infosys Science Foundation for recognizing our work on malaria vaccines with this prestigious award. I would like to acknowledge that this award recognizes the hard work of many talented students and postdoctoral fellows who have worked in my laboratory at ICGB in Delhi over the last 15 years. For one to succeed in science, a number of factors need to be in place. First and foremost, 
you need a stimulating, nurturing, and conducive environment. I would like to acknowledge the leadership provided by Professor Veer Chauhan, our director, in helping build with my colleagues that kind of environment at ICGB in Delhi. Next, these days, science is highly interdisciplinary in nature and requires many collaborations across many different disciplines. And I would like to acknowledge the many collaborations we've had, many wonderful collaborations in many different fields, but I'd like to particularly point out the collaborations with the Structural Biology Group at ICGB, led by Amit Sharma, and collaborations in the field with epidemiologists who work on malaria in distant lands in Orissa, in Papua New Guinea, and in Mozambique, with whom we work to understand the biology and the immunology of malaria parasites. And finally, in biotech companies, with whose help we are producing vaccines and testing them in clinical trials. Doing internationally competitive science needs long-term financial support. And for that, I would like to thank the many agencies that have supported us over the years, mainly the Department of Biotechnology of the Government of India, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Malaria Vaccine Initiative, the Wellcome Trust, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, and the European Commission. Finally, I'd like to thank my teachers, first at St. Xavier's High School in Ahmedabad, then at the Indian Institute of Technology in Bombay and the University of California at Berkeley, and my mentor, Lewis Miller, at the US National Institutes of Health, who introduced me to this fascinating malaria parasite. I would also like to thank my parents, who are both scientists, and who showed by example to me very early on that science can be both fulfilling and highly enjoyable. Finally, I'd like to thank my wife, Amika, and my two young daughters, Tarini and Chandini, whose silent support allows me to do what I do day in and day out. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chitnis.